Hey everybody, Lon Seibin here with a little more AR Drone 2 high altitude footage. This is from the built-in camera that's on the drone and recording to a USB stick that you can actually install inside of it. So uh, here we go, we're climbing. It actually climbs a lot faster than it descends. So just be mindful of that. You really wanna make sure you keep it over an open area uh, because as you get higher, as you can see here, the winds really start to grab it. And I'm actually fighting against the wind to kind of keep it over my yard because the wind was starting to blow it over into the woods. So you really, really should operate it at lower altitudes first just to get a real feel for it. You can see how high it gets. This isn't even at the top height that I was able to get it at. I'm actually on the deck. You can't even see me. It's so high up there. Uh, and as it's, there it goes, that white dot out there is a water tower a couple miles from my house. And you'll see the moon here in a second. And off in the horizon is Long Island. I'm in Connecticut. I'm not too far from the shore, um, but it got up pretty high. It was really clear at sunset, so you could really see pretty pretty far. And, of course, uh, pointing it at the sun at sunset kind of, well, I guess it is kind of pretty. Uh, got it up a little bit higher, and then I decided, you know what, maybe it's time for it to return. If it loses its signal, it's, it's Wi-Fi based to your iOS device. If it loses its signal, it kind of hovers in place until it runs out of battery, and then I think it tries to land itself. And that's really why you want to keep it over an open area, because if it decides to land itself into some trees, you'll probably lose your $300 toy. And here we are bringing it down. You can see I'm fighting against the wind to try to keep it from blowing into things that I don't want it to blow into, including trees. And we're getting a little bit lower here. And one thing to be mindful of is the angle that you fly it at. It has some safety um, guards in that respect, but if it gets too much of an angle, it actually shuts off and crashes. So um, keep that angle control pretty pretty uh, uh, conservative because you don't want to lose it when you're first trying to get the hang of it. And then eventually I positioned it into a spot in which I wanted to land it, and here we go. Thanks for watching.